Friends, the time is almost up, but before we go, I have a very important message I would like to share with you, and I believe the Holy Spirit wants to minister to us today. So friends, we've been looking today at how our governments are fixing their gaze on us. But now friends, in these final moments, I want us to fix our gaze on Jesus. We've also seen today how our Heavenly Father is fixing his gaze on us. And that, friends, is a wonderful truth, isn't it? The Lord of the universe fixes his gaze on us because that's part of his nature. He's always looking, friends. He watches over us. Wow, isn't that so good to know? Also, friends, while that is so wonderful to know, we also need to know that while he is looking upon us with such fatherly love and care, he is also looking upon the intents of our hearts too. In Jeremiah 17, 10, it says, he searches our hearts and examines the deepest motives so he can give to each person his reward according to how they have lived. Oh friends, we want our hearts to be right before him, don't we? I don't want the Lord Jesus to search my heart and find that I'm not wholly surrendered and committed to him. So then friends, how on earth can we get the motives of our hearts right before the Lord? By fixing our gaze upon Jesus. Yes friends, by fixing our stare at him. Friends, as we fix our gaze upon Jesus, the more our hearts will be transformed. And as the Lord searches our deepest being, what will he find there? Friends, he will find the Christ life, bubbling over to eternal life. He will find him found in us and us found in him. Friends, when we fix our gaze upon something, we can't see anything else in our vision, can we? Think about it, friends. When a husband is captivated by his wife, he stares ever so intently into her eyes. All he can see are her eyes, and he tries to examine her deepest thoughts. And while he's doing that, there's no room to see or think about anything else, is there? Well, friends, in the same way, that is how we should fix our gaze upon Jesus. That, friends, is where the Lord wants us to go. Now in Hebrews it says, Let us also lay aside every hindrance and the sin which so easily entangles us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, fixing our eyes upon Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. So friends, let's do it. Let's do it right now. Let's not waste any time. Let's not think about doing it tomorrow or in an hour's time. Let's do it right now. Friends, let us engage with Jesus. He's just waiting for us to do it. Now friends, I want us to go to this final song. It's from Alberto and Kimberly Rivera, and it's simply called Jesus. And friends, if you can, why not put everything aside right now? Maybe you have your phone in your hand, but friends, put everything aside for a moment. And if you can, close your eyes and connect with the Lord Jesus right now. Friends, I'm gonna pray a simple prayer and then I'm gonna play this song. And friends, while you listen, fix your gaze upon Jesus. And I guarantee, friends, that as you intently focus upon him and allow the things of this earthly life to simply fall away, you will have a glorious encounter with your Lord. Oh Lord Jesus, we're coming before you today. And Father, we're asking you, we're asking you, Lord Jesus, that you would enable us to focus our thoughts completely upon you right now, Lord. Father, I'm just praying that we'd be able to drop everything, every hindrance, everything, Father, every thought, every concern, and that for this moment in time, we would focus our thoughts upon you, O oh Lord Jesus. And now friends, let's go to our final song. And as we listen, let's just drop everything that hinders and humbly come before the Lord and fix our gaze upon him and allow him 
to do that work in us and I'm believing that today we're going to have a glorious revelation of Jesus as we listen. God bless you friends.